Well, now you have a podcast, which you yeah. mentioned a few times. The Skinny with Joey Merlino. Yeah. Uh, where you actually give out football picks. Yeah. Okay. So you could actually take your gambling and, and sort of focus it into uh, more of a legal direction this time. Yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> I gotta How's that working out? I ain't, bad. I ain't charging for the picks. We, we give them out on a thing. The real, I mean, we, we got fucked up. YouTube don't like us. We got shadow banned. I mean, for, for no reason. Uh, I mean, I, don't, I can't figure it out. I had, we did a thing on, right before Thanksgiving. I gave out 500 turkeys, 100 bikes, 100 coats, 25,000. I gave them a meal. We didn't even do a podcast. I, we just did like videos. And I had a, a friend of mine on, McKeel, who was in jail for 47 years straight. Straight. He was on death row. He was innocent. They let him out. And I'm trying to do like some prison reform to get people out of jail. And they shadow banned me. What the fuck did I say wrong? What the fuck did I do wrong? The guy's 47 years. Fact. Innocent. And I gave out turkeys. They shadow banned me. Well, I mean, I've interviewed sports figures that have bet on their own games. Like, for example, Tim Donaghy, who was the NBA ref. He's from Philly. Uh, He's another rat. He's from right. Philly, that motherfucker. He cooperated. Yeah. Uh, do you know him personally? No, I don't know. No. Okay. Uh, you know, if you go back, there's Pete Rose, who got caught betting on his own games, which look is why they, he's look not. What, look another, they, another Philly. The Philly. Look you know, what they uh, did to that guy. The greatest fucking hitter of all time. He can't get in the Hall of Fame. You got a. He cannot get in the Hall of Fame. You got a Rod's a rat. They're all they're all in stare a rat. A Rod works for baseball tonight. P. Rose can't get in the Hall of Fame. They got baseball players doing commercials right now. Go to fucking FanDuel and bet. And this guy bet. And he can't get in the Hall of Fame. They hate him. He's blackball like me. They fucking hate him. Yeah, no, I interviewed him recently. Um, he's a good man. I think he's he, he, I mean, he's finally accepted the fact that in his lifetime, he's not going to be in the Hall of Fame. Maybe after he dies, they might give him one. But yeah. at this point, he's not going to be in the, in the Hall of Fame. It's been almost 30 years now. So, uh, you got to eventually you got to quit worrying about it. I know what I know what kind of player I was. My fans know what kind of player I was. My teammates, my opposition knew what kind of player I was. You know what I mean? And uh, you're not going to put you in the Hall of Fame because you bet on your team to win. Do you really think I'm the only player ever to bet on baseball? No one can be that naive. Yeah. So, uh, I'll have to wait till I die, and I won't be part of it. But uh, that's when it'll put me in after I after I die. I mean, did you ever know any sports, you know, players or or refs or anything else like that that became degenerate gamblers and started to kind of fudge the rules a little bit and start betting on their own games? No, nah, I wish I did. No, nah, no, nah, not at all. The kid Donahue, I don't yeah. know. I don't. I don't know him. I know he's from Philly. I was away when he got pinched. Well, yeah. I mean, what Tim said was actually pretty interesting. What he said was that he didn't necessarily make calls in order to win bets. He they, said that he knew coming into a game based on who the refs were personally. He knows which refs like which players and which refs dislike which players, and they'll do certain calls based on their right. own personal, you know, likes and dislikes, and based on that. He could beat the spread. I mean, when it came to betting on games, did you base it mostly on the relationship between the refs and certain players, or were other things more important than that? I think that was a, a major thing that was involved, and also, you know, what the league wanted called, and there'd be a morning meeting uh, at 11 a.m. before every game, and there were certain things that they wanted you to crack down on, and I would take that and you know, consider who was in the game and who they wanted those things cracked down on and know that it was going to put a team at a disadvantage. Right, yeah, they know. And uh, you know, at one it, point, the mafia found out about it, allegedly, and then, you know, they, they started the getting it Everything, on his action. And they always blame us. They, the, they always blame the mafia. The fuck but mafia. The, the, the guy was fixing games. Right. I think, every, I think football's fixed. I think the Super Bowl was fixed. You think the Super Bowl was fixed? 100%. Why do you say that? Well, they got the extra quarter... They played the whole overtime quarter, so it's $7 million for every 30-second commercial. You do the math. The fucking guy, they yeah. blocked the extra point. 
the, San Fran said they didn't know if they if they scored, they didn't know they would win the game. How the fuck you don't know the rules? I know the fucking rules. They they changed the rules recently. Yeah, but if they score here, they win. Right. The fucking game's over. How the fuck you kick a field goal? And the holding uh, exactly. calls. The holding calls were horrible. Yeah. They just wanted them. It's all script. The Taylor Swift, all that fucking shit. Right. Well, they're saying that Biden was in on it too. I mean, he actually even put up, put up a little yeah, uh, Biden, you know, meme. Yeah. He don't. He didn't even know what the fuck he was watching. <laughs> Another six months, he'll be dead a year. Who knows, man? Who knows? Well, uh, Joey Merlino, man, appreciate you coming in. Thank you for uh, having me. Make sure me. everyone check out, you know, your podcast on YouTube, The Skinny with Joey Merlino. No, it's on Patreon. Oh, it's on Patreon Yeah, now. fuck YouTube. <laughs> 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 so on Patreon, go yeah. check out The Skinny with Joey Merlino, uh, someone who has been betting for a very long time and has, has paid the price for betting so you know that he takes it extra seriously. Right. Uh, appreciate your time, man. Thank you, I wish my you buddy. all the best. All right, take care. Thank you. That's what it is. Peace.